My big passion is uh, bringing trust back into banking, uh, enabling new business models out of technology and how nature influences that, and trail running. You can call me a technology banker and basically just amplifying what you do, uh, just doing it better by the help of technology, so not technology taking over, but basically amplifying what you do today. I'm not sure exactly when I got into blockchain, uh, but as my big passion is to bring trust back into banking, uh, blockchain very quickly became an essential part of what I do because it solves and addresses one of the large problems we have, and that is that when you look at trust today, trust is a, is a funny thing, it's something we do every day. We wake up in the morning, we trust the newspapers, we trust the government, we trust everybody basically, but that's not natural to us. And we have this nagging thing, we know we shouldn't trust them, but we actually look at it. And the evolution of technology means that we are interacting and transacting with more and more people around the world. That scope is basically getting bigger and bigger. And we in the audit business uh, and the lawyers and so on, we can take you to a certain limit. We can go in and look at a company and you can get some trusted certificate and that, and we can take you maybe here. So from zero trust to somewhere here. But to abundant trust, the last bit, there's no way we can take you there. So this is about human interaction. It's about meeting people. It's about seeing what's going on inside. And I believe the blockchain is one of the solutions uh, to minimize or mitigate a part of that gap. And by doing that, we're going to change business models who's been around for 100 to 150 years, uh, which is very core to how we have institutionalized trust over the years. Uh, and that motivates me every day. Uh, and bringing those two things together with the technology aspects, uh, but always with the human in the center. This is not something who just goes away and it comes with uh, quite a few risks, but it also opens up a new world of opportunities. And to where we are today and where the future will lie, um, it's going to be a hard journey. So first of all, our world today is not a pure, pure digital world. That means that if we don't have a full STP straight through processing digital interface, um, blockchain takes us some of the way, but not all of the way. Now where it becomes extremely interesting is when we start moving it in from the digital realm into our standardized institutional realm with still the blockchains and the protocol behind that is not 100% ready, but the solutions are coming very fast. So what is the future going to life? Well, from a business perspective, it's very easy. Every company out there today will be in competition with the same type of company which is blockchain based because the way they sell their products, the way they bring trust around the product and value proposition, the way the value chain around that is going to be operated is going to have a blockchain component going forward. Is it going to be only blockchain? No, it's not. But that means that's going to be two companies in the world that's going to be those who's blockchain based and they're going to be the ones who's not. And the blockchain based is going to conquer the other ones. It's just a matter of a long enough time frame.